the next time you head to the range, keep this important tip in mind. Here's a pro tip on holsters, in this case drop leg holsters. I'm running a Safari Land 6004 series in this case, and I want to talk about some things that I see happen out on a range. Specifically, number one is where you wear this holster. The general rule of thumb is that it should be low enough just to clear your gear. A lot of people throw a fancy drop leg on and it's sitting down here by their knee. Two problems with that. Number one, when you start moving, it starts moving around on you. Number two, you're overextending your fire control hand to draw the gun. So now you have more distance from point A to point B to get on target. So again, we just want to lower this holster system enough to clear gear. That's the only reason I, why I would wear one. The second point, the reference point of the strap, it should be high in the groin area. Now again, this should lower the holster just enough to clear your gear. If you still have enough gear here and it's not clearing, then you need to take that gear off and move it somewhere else. Specifically, if you have to transition your handgun under stress, if you're running a carbine, and you got, I see a lot of med kits here, that's the other bad thing. Don't put something over the top of your handgun, specifically a med kit, put it somewhere else because you're gonna need that med kit if you can't get your handgun out, okay? So let's keep this area clear, keep the gun as high as humanly possible, and that's the point on adjustment for this holster. The next thing that I see people do wrong is deactivating the bail system. Now I'll see people come in and they deactivate and then they get a good grip on the gun. Or they'll get a good grip on the gun and then they'll press down on the bail and then draw the handgun out. What we wanna do is we wanna incorporate that motion with a half moon sweep, kind of like a thumb draw technique in concealment. So if I can half moon motion it in and disengage that bail at the same time and get a high tang grip, that's what I'm looking for drawing this holster. <sighs> same thing reverse, close the bail. So again, half moon motion. To practice this, start slow. Come into that half moon motion, slide into the high tang grip, break the bail at the same time, and then draw the handgun out. If you're out on the range and you're standing around with nothing to do, just practice that motion, okay? Just keep practicing it until you get it down. If you go too fast, sometimes your hand will land where you won't want it. So start slow and then move in quickly. So again, slow to quick, almost like a cobra strike. <sighs> or a snake rearing up. Snakes rear up and then they strike. That's a good way to learn this particular technique. It takes thousands and thousands of repetitions to get this down correctly. So do those repetitions. You need to do that, especially if you depend on this handgun and this holster system in a time is life situation. The other thing I see people do is they'll leave the bail down so they can get to the gun quickly. I see a lot of law enforcement and military guys do this before they're about to make entry. They'll put their bails down just in case they need their gun. Problem is you find yourself in a disruptive environment. Maybe you're laying on your side. You got to shoot underneath the car. You get up and you have to transition and you go like this and there's nothing to grab. I've seen that happen a lot of times and that's the last thing I want to happen to me in a time of life situation. So take in consideration those three things. Holster placement on your leg, deactivating the bail, and getting a good grip at the same time and make sure that gun is retained by keeping that bail up. Even if you have an ALS system where you've got triple retention where you have a bail and a button, well, a lot of guys say, well, that second point of retention is still good, but the problem is if you're surprised, if it's a time is life, body alarm reaction, now you've trained with your bail down when you're carrying the bail up. So don't confuse yourself, don't build training scars and use your holster properly. Pantio. Head on over to SWAT Magazine, SWATMag.com, for more videos just like that.